a lesson and a blessing. Some people come in your life as a lesson, and some come in your life as a blessing. Or we get oftentimes say some come in our life as a lesson and a blessing. This is a video response back to you, Kiara. Um, you emailed me a while back about, you know, moving on from a broken up relationship. And as you stated, um, in your marriage, when being divorced now, let me say it like that, um, the husband cheated, left you for somebody else. And this is why I always say that it takes the Holy Spirit to take two imperfect people, put them together and keep them together. It ain't the ring, it ain't the marriage certificate. It's the covenant, the Holy Spirit, the author of the marriage, of the creator of all things, that you should never take your covenant lightly. And the reason why I want to use this title, because some of us know in the past or now, some of us know that we was with somebody that we was not supposed to be with. We went out to what we wanted instead of what we, instead of what we needed. And we oftentimes have put ourselves in situations that has nothing to do with the Holy Spirit. And then there are times where the Holy Spirit will test you, have you in situations. But if the Holy Spirit has not led you to each other, that's a huge problem. And it's a lesson in it, more than one. But I want to say this. Sometime, my sister, hear me real clear. Sometime in this life, people leaving you is the best thing that can happen to you. Them walking out of your life is the best thing that can happen to you. That's amazing you emailed me this because there's a woman on my other job that I ministered to who husband left her. Beautiful family. She's a, a REN, registered nurse, registered nurse, and been with her husband for a while. Husband is a doctor. And they hired a new uh, what, what, 19 year old, a, a young 19 year old on the job. And he told his wife he fell in love with her. The woman that he'd been with for so many years, he just left her cold blooded with the daughter. But he's going to find out eventually <laughs> when the things turn for the worse, how. What he had at home was greater than what he got now. See, a lot of people use that old saying, well, the grass is greener on the other side. No, the grass is green on the side that you water it on. And these type of people who leave their whole entire family like this, especially, I'm, I'm going to be hard on a man that does it, a husband. Man, do you understand what's going to happen to you and the type of punishment when you know that your wife has been faithful. As he even told you, you've been faithful. It's not you, it's me. And I've been I've been cheating for a while. That is not easy to get over. And I pray hard for you, my sister, but it's a lesson. I don't know all about, you know, your, your prayers and how you prayed for this man or you know, like I say, some people, they, they get tired of being by themselves. They just hook up with somebody or they feel like, feel like, feel like this. I don't I don't know what the situation is on that end. And that's why I'm saying a godly man, a godly woman will do everything in their power not to disrespect each other like that, not cheat on each other like that. And there is no excuse great enough on Judgment Day. And that's what turns up the home. So you know what I've done? Some of my ex ex girls, I guarantee they still watch my videos right now. But I, you know what? I, I went back and thanked my ex. I said, you know what? I thank you because let me say this before I say what I'm about to say: a person can only do to you what you allow them to do. But I went back because I went through a lot, and I told her, "Thank you, thank you for what you've shown me, what we went through." Because if I had not went through that, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know how to move on, and I wouldn't have the blessing that I have now. One point of time, I was fighting and fighting, trying to get her back. 
I was trying to build up something the Holy Spirit said, let go. And once I let it go completely, I just told my wife this just last night. Once I let it go, see one thing when you give me space and, and, and things ain't right, no, nah, my space is going to turn into being gone forever. I'm just speaking for myself. And, and, and with that, the Holy Spirit showed me so much. She probably looking at this video right now. And I mean it out of love. And I always use that term. She was a lesson to me. A, a huge lesson. And I wasn't all the way right like I needed to be in my studying back then. I wasn't connected all the way right to the Holy Spirit like I should have been back then. And that's why I don't blame nobody but myself for back then. I don't point fingers at her. I point fingers at me as the man, as the leader, as what was I doing, what I should have been doing, what I should not have been doing. And she was a lesson for me and a blessing for me. And this is why I stayed single so long. And I mean so long. I stayed single a long time, my brothers and sisters, to get myself right. Because I don't care who you are, what, what your skin color is, what race you are. If you are married, you're going to have issues. You got issues in your marriage. Because there is no such thing as perfect people. But by him cheating on you, my sister... In the card in your email, and I always know it's two sides of the story. But a card of this email that you sent, he shouldn't have never left you. Never. But there are men out here who don't know how to really love and be men. Because they didn't have an example in their life. So I have to throw that out there also. And a lot of those type of men are the ones that get married. And you expect them to know and know what to do and how to do, and they fall in those areas because they wasn't taught. They didn't have an example. And then some men didn't have a father, but they still had a grandmother, a praying grandmother, and a strong mother that taught them how to respect women. And they wouldn't do nothing to disrespect or walk out on their covenant like that. So... These, I always say everything we do in life, it's a lesson behind it. And I just hope and pray that we catch the lessons. Because even coming with blessings, there are lessons. And even coming with blessings, there are heartaches and pain. There is suffering. There is trials. There is tribulations. There is testimonies behind your test. You are tested. So just keep that in mind as I wrap this, this video up. Many people come in our life. And it, even if I wasn't talking about your marriage, even with just kin folks, so-called friends, church folks, certain pastors, people come and people go. And, and a lot of times the ones that come is a lesson. But then every now and again, you'll find those blessings that come through that you have, a, a I like to say, a lifetime friendship with. That one that that's with you and... and, and I mean, they're not going to encourage you when you're in sin and wrong. You can, you can every, every now and again, you can find a friend like that. But it's very rare. Very rare. You may find a homegirl or find a homeboy like that that's going to check you when you're wrong. So you just keep your head up, my beautiful sister. You, 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 you own it with your prayers and, and moving on. And that's why I always say, hurt people, hurt people. Hurt people, hurt people. Because a lot of people try to move on while they hurt and they're not healed. And you're doing the right thing by healing. It's a healing process. Too many people jump out of a messed up situation and then try to get into a new situation, bringing all the mess and luggage from the last, the previous one, into the one they're trying to have now. And that just don't work. Be clear. That's why when I met my wife and I told my wife, there is no secrets between you and me. I'm going to lay everything on the line about me, what I went through, who I am, what I am. You're going to know everything. Ain't going to be no surprises. And that's how I laid it down. And that's the way it's suppo supposed to be. Too many people keep secrets, but, but these secrets destroy everything. Holding in secrets and then trying to come out with them later on, man, it, the damage has already been done. 
So I'm just reflecting back off of your email and I hope and pray I've said something in here that can encourage you to keep on pressing on. Because let me tell you something. The Holy Spirit would always have a blessing for you. Always. But we get so caught up in how long we've been with somebody. The time we put in, the energy, the money, the finances. And a lot of us, if we would be honest, we wasted a lot of time, energy, finances on the wrong person. And one thing about it is you can't go back and get it back. But what you can do is learn from it, that lesson, and move towards your blessing. Y'all have a wonderful, blessed day. Shalom.